So I'm going to start off with the most important element and the reasons why to not kill or harm these elements. So the first element is going to be infinity, which is the most obvious element to not mess with in any means or any way. As in making him see one ugly, two making him wed someone that's not truly nor rightfully his, three making him look like shit when he doesn't. So these are the type of reasons why not. It's why not because who doesn't live to infinity? Do you not know what the word infinity means? Infinity, infinity means ever, forever, non-stop, non-ending, for eternity and forever, which is bigger than anything ever. So this element is actually for infinity. So if you fuck with an infinity element, you're basically fucking with people for eternity. So that's already a big cause that you should not mess with. So when someone wants to mess with an element like that, this is when the issue is constant and will be ever forever lasting. The reason why church does this, we don't know. The reason why church wants to threat an infinity element may be because they're still stuck in the third century. This is actually coinciding with infinity so it's either you're gonna have hate infinity forever without love so without love that's hate infinity forever which is basically where we are living at which is basically hurting love hurting the nice ones hurting every single person forever stealing thieving lying hacking jealousy every single thing imaginable is happening to any person that may find real love but is it real in the end after all, since you make people not see real or be real or be around someone that is real. Next is trust. In God we trust. So without trust, let's say you kill a trust element, person, which is basically stands for, which actually does exist and these elements do exist. And however, if you look at life, this had already pre happened. This already happened a very, very long time ago. So these issues, for example, the in God we trust, who does in the end? Some do, but not all. I go to places and people don't trust in God. People are pissed that they're one are blind, disabled to, and many much more reasons. And they have many reasons to not trust in God. And what did people do to trust element? Why can't people answer that when they did it themselves to these elements? So who did it? The future, most likely, that went back in time and came back to confess that they had done this. So who did? And they go around in a circle messing with times like humans on a machine. To kill surrender is basically to kill some sort of release. So this is a release, for example, stress, pain, uh some sort of release so basically it's everyone suffers after jesus death in the third century and where does the release go how can people release one pain two emotional stress or any type of release to heal so how everyone goes around usa cussing jesus christ or whatever it may be christ or jesus the whole time as if it's his fault we don't know but however it's most obviously that someone doesn't understand the severity of this. So how do you climax? Is it a fake computerized climax on a daily basis? Since people want to put bricks in my body and mold people's penises when they have sex. This is an element that I didn't notice people burning, one, two, attacking, three, lying to, four, kicking them out. So when people want to make promises, People are going to break promises by kicking promises out and by ignoring promise and by doing anything to not hold what is said as an adult. So if you're going to say something and do something, then you obviously do it. So without doing these, these are without keeping the promise, basically you ruin trust. That's how you ruin trust. Because if you're going to promise someone something, if you're going to say something, you must do it. And when you don't do it, obviously... You break trust. And who do you break if you don't break God? More serious topic is when 
They couldn't kill these elements, past life, or any life, really. So we are actually very immortal. So when it comes to terms like this, when he, try when he she tried to kill soul element, and every element in the book, they shrink one soul element to every single person to create every single person to relive life. So if you want to come back in time and ask why these things happen and claim it's element people, then obviously wrong. So this is how we're going to have absolutely no life and extinction. By killing dead element. So killing all these elements is basically killing all life to infinity. So this is why it's very wrong. And this is why we feel like we are trapped in the same place, but we cannot be with each other. So who is fucking with people, if not the future? One person, possibly a future element. According from all of this, most likely the reason why everyone's so fucked up is because someone wanted to fuck with a brain. And it, we don't know whose fucking brain it is, but obviously it's someone's fucking brain. And obviously it fucked with a bunch of people's brains. So everyone was granted infinity life and infinity divine partner to always dream of their divine partner and their families since the beginning. And something went wrong there. It seemed to have been that somebody wanted someone else's. And by getting someone else's, they wanted to kill someone else. And then somebody wanted someone else's power. So by getting someone else's power, that made them better and made everyone else worse. So that's how everyone became someone else. Every single person became someone else. And when everyone became someone else, that's when everyone became miserable or depressed. And that's how the whole infinity had became a mess and disgusting and horrible as it already is. And that's basically because someone just wanted to be wed to someone else and didn't care for their true real divine partner because they love to hop and fuck someone else's.